Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Tuesday afternoon, September 20th. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and the SPY. Boy, oh boy, what an interesting day. For a range of just under $5, we basically traded $20. Down, back up 5, back down 5, almost up 5. So, really good range, volume of only $70 million, that stunk. We all end up, well, SPY and ES end up with 9 wide, Russell ends 10 wide, not in counting N. I don't count N. And Q's only end 8 wide, not counting N. Um, I expected a follow-through of short covering. Obviously, when the CPI, uh, Germany CPI came out, pushed the market down this morning, but we never took out the day's low. Um, and then we came back. We took out both sides of the IB took out the IB low for a second time after the IB high, and then we made a run for the IB high again in M. Utterly amazing. I wasn't here for about two hours midday when the market did flush from F through I. I got here as I was trading. Um, we had, look, it was a good learning day. We had four new people sign up between last night and this morning. Again, I want to thank everybody that likes and uh, subscribes to the YouTube channel, plus join in my room. Again, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating this uh, as, as the months go on. If you join my room now for $30 a month, you'll always pay $30 a month. Come January, I'm going to be raising it to $40 for anybody new starting January of 23. The yearly right now is at $275. That's going to be going up too. Exactly what, I'm not sure. So if you sign up now, between now and New Year's Eve, you're going to get those prices forever. I started this room at $20 the first year. They're still paying $20. Then I went to $30 last year. They're still paying, you know, in this year, 30. So again, I appreciate everybody signing up. I think this room gives tremendous value to traders uh, for what for what we charge in this room. Um, I did have a good day today, even though I only traded A, B, and C, and then J and K, because I was gone for a while. So in A period, I took a long against the afternoon pullback low from yesterday the first time. And it paid me. It just hung around, went up, and I got paid on that. Then a B period, when we started one time framing down, I didn't short B's low, but any push up, I shorted because the ebb and flow, the indices were down, we had the overnight low, um, we were below the opening, so the sellers had control. So any push up, I was shorting in B, did that a couple of times, did the same thing in C. Then when C period started going back up, it looked like they were going to stop the one time framing, I actually took a long right before B's high. And got paid on a long in C. And then when C went up, I took a short against both the opening and the 144. So we whacked them around in C pretty good with a short, a long, and a short. <clears throat> then I left. I had to leave. Well, I didn't leave right away, but D and F weren't really enticing me. I was tempted to short F. I was like, I don't think after taking back the trend day from yesterday, we're going to go trend again. It was a decent set of single prints, and then I had to get ready to leave, so I just left. Well, obviously, that short was right, because then they just flushed them out again. Remember, we traded in the lower distribution all day and below it, right? Then, when I came back, we were trading at eyes low. Well, we were going to have single prints. Well, when Jay opened, I did short it, because it looked like we were going to hold them for a while, and I made money on it one time. Then, once Jay took out a eyes high... I said to the room, look, once again, shorts got trapped. We have nothing to lean on yet. It's rare we just have the days high and low. So I said, I think we have good odds of going back to the park. And we did. I longed K period twice. So we, we saw the day pretty well. Um, I'm happy with it. Initially, I was going to think about on the, on the charts, calling the weekly possibly down, the daily down. But I'm going to say they just stretched the balance. And we'll look at that on the charts. And we'll hopefully tomorrow, we're going to get a lot better indication which way we come out of this balance on the, on the daily at least. And I don't know about the weekly just yet, unless they rip lower. As far as destinations, upside in SPY is today's high of 386.12. And then you should have the ones I gave yesterday. For the downside, nine wide, E's low of 384.22. Today's low of 381.20. For the ES, the downside, 74 is 9 wide, 43.25 is your daily low. And for the upside, we have 93.25. Now, 
Let's just go to the charts to see what we could possibly expect tomorrow come 2 o'clock. So here's the weekly. We did take out last week's low by a dollar, but came back. So for now, for now, I'm calling it balance. We just stretched it. Now, don't rem- forget, it was an outside week down. Okay? So we did get a little distance so far from last week's low, but so far, we're back in it. So I think tomorrow should give a pretty good indication. If tomorrow rallies, or by the end of the week, we rally pretty good, well, then it's firmly a four-week balance. But if they don't like what the Fed says and does, then by the end of the week, we're going to blow through this this three-week balance and go down and have an in, uh, outside week down be successful. So that's why I'm giving it a little more time. Same with the daily. We took out yesterday's low by a dollar, but we came back in. I'm going to call it balance for now. So one of two things is going to happen. The Fed's going to disappoint, and we're going to have, remember, lower lows. Here's one. Here's one. We would take this out and have another lower low. Or the Fed is going to say something that makes the market think we're at least okay for now. We'll come out of this three-day balance to the upside and maybe test the 20-day moving average. Now, that will not stop the progression of low highs because we have one here, one here. So if the market did rally, maybe we put in our next lower high. That's how I'm kind of looking at it, one way or the other, after this week's action. Hope you had a good day trading. Rest up for tomorrow, and we'll speak prior to the opening.